Hello everyone and a warm welcome back to Rathbone Manor. Um, today, as I didn't go to the car boot sale this week, uh, it's been a bit rainy and what have you, um, I thought I would show you some of the uh, top picks from last week's car boot sale. Now, apart from this one here, uh, these are all very nice condition for their age. Not sure how old this one is. I know how old this one is. We'll get to that one a little later on. But first of all, let's have a look at this little fellow right here, shall we? Okay, so this was um, quite grubby and filthy when I uh, picked it out of the uh, box at one of the stalls. Um, but I've cleaned it up. I've taken it into the uh, into work and put it into the ultrasonic cleaning tank. Um, it is actually quite an old one, I think. Uh, I didn't notice at the time, but uh, I had noticed it's got um, British made just here, as you can see on the neck. And we also have forged steel here. But what I didn't notice until I cleaned it up was it's got um, the guy's initials here, let's stamped in, DS I believe that is. But more importantly, we have, look at this, the government issue mark. You've got a little arrow there, the broad arrow, and what looks to me like could be 26. Now that 26 could either be 1926, or it could be the um, the uh, inspector's number. Um, it's not a bad little adjustable spanner in the uh, King Dick style. Uh, so you can see it's quite old because it's cut all the way down here. Um, later King Dick's, so look at this. You can see how different it is. It's not cut all the way down. As I say, I think this is probably 1926 personally myself. I've got to put it on the uh, wire wheel and get some of this rust off. But it should come up quite nicely. Um, the jaws were quite bent uh, when I first got it. I've straightened those up as you can see. And I've also uh, removed some of the uh, burring that was going on there. Look. Now, Normally, as you can see here, the spring would be down the bottom, just there like that. But for some reason or another, the uh, original owner had put the, put the uh, thumb wheel the other way up, so the spring was on this end of things. Now, whether he did that to uh, pull the jaw into the nut, I don't know. We'll never know. We'll need a, uh, a time machine to find that one out. But um, it's not a bad little spanner. It runs very freely, actually. Obviously, there's a little bit of play there, but it runs very freely. Um, as I say, it was absolutely disgustingly filthy when I got it, and um, it cost me a pound. Uh, I wasn't, I'm not too worried about that now because of the, uh, you know, the uh, government marking there, which I hadn't noticed before. It's always good to find uh, an old tool with government markings on, and that will add to my. Um, I've got quite a collection of um, ones with government markings on now. But yeah, what a sweet little. Um, I think it's about four inch adjustable spanner there. And whilst we're on this style of spanner, here I have a, uh, a rather nice uh, condition British made King Dick, as we can see stamped very nicely in there. This thing is in all kinds of good condition really. I'm putting the condition myself at around about 80%. It's really, really nice. It's got quite a few sharp edges on it still. And even the, um, the thumb wheel here, you can really feel that. You know, you can feel the uh, knurling going on just there. It's really, really sharp. You can also see some of the original colouring there. I hope you can see that. It's a kind of a brown colour. That's not rust. That is actually uh, the original colouring it would have been. You can see that. And also, hopefully you can see this kind of cross grind effect on there. Can you see that? It's really cool. Um, the jaws are clean look at that they're sharp i don't think this has ever been used i don't know what, what occurred just here though but it's only on the one side so i don't think it was stuck in a vice because it's not on this side at all look so you can see the cross hatching there and the cross grind on the on the dynamic jaw there british made it's all nice and sharp i think the only thing that lets it down is a very 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 light rusting down the bottom there but other than that, we have an absolutely beautiful condition King Dick Spanner. This is of the uh, 1946 onwards pattern. Um, I'm not sure how old this was. 
So with the British made on there, I'm not really sure how old it was because normally some of the other ones I've got I've just got King Dick stamped on there. This doesn't have the um, Bulldog on the dynamic jaw there at all. So I'm going to say this is probably a relatively new one. Uh, maybe 50s or 60s possibly, I don't really know, I couldn't really say. But basically someone has um, purchased this and it doesn't look like they've ever used it. So there's some really sharp corners going on just here. And normally on uh, something of this age, it'd have been worn off and used. But yeah, that is really sharp. Those corners, just in here, it's all sharp. The knurling is, um, you can really feel the knurling. And it runs nicely too. Um, you can see what I mean about the spring and washer. That's the bottom of the roller, not at the top like on the other um, old spanner that we had here. For some reason or another the original owner turned turned in the uh, thumb wheel around the other way. I don't know why he would do that. I say, unless it's to, um, you know, because you can see there's a slight bit of, um, you can compress it that away. So it's actually pushing away from the nut. Now whether he, it, uh, you know, the original owner turned it round so that it would compress that away and actually hold on to the nut, which is always possible, I suppose. But yeah, this, it's an absolutely beautiful condition. What do you think of that, guys? 50 pence that cost me. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Okay, so you guys know that I cannot resist a nice pair of pliers. And what we have here is a very nice pair of pliers. Elliot Lucas, Elect, Canuck, England. I think we can even see some uh, just here. I think that is... Um, um, the stuff they put over the metal to protect it. I can't think what it's called now. Idiot. Uh, over here we have the... Um, is that PW2163 6 inch? Or, yeah, that's it, 6. There we go. 2163 6 inch. Ultra tensile. Um, the condition of these is very good. I mean, look, we've even got the paint in here. The paint is still on there. The paint is still in the uh, lettering. Let's check it out. Oh, you can even see it in the cutters, look. Paint, paint still in the, the cutters there, look. They're not being used. If you have a look in the jaws here, you can see there's um, like still a roll of um, excess metal where they've machined out in here. It's still there, look. You've got no damage to the uh, jaws at all, look. You can still see the black in there. Again, there's another bit of a rollover just there from the machining. I have actually, uh, on me, when I um, got these home and we were looking at them on the original video, I did do some cutting tests with them so you can see there's a little bit of copper in there. Oh, blimey, yeah. Um, there's a slight little bit of uh, rusting going on on the tips. There's nothing I'm going to worry about because they're in such beautiful condition, to be honest with you. And if we move along to the handles, it's exactly the same thing there. They're in beautiful condition. I think the only damage that's been done to the handles is where they've been thrown into a box of tools at the car boot sale. Well, look how clean and sharp that is. You can see the fly. Um, it says there, right, tested to 10,000 volts. And I think you can also see there's some sort of like a coating going on just here, look. Because these did feel rather rubbery at first when I got them, but um, this is part of the protective um, from the factory, I think, still. But aren't they beautiful? Wow. Really nice uh, condition pair of pliers. They're, um, what are they? Six inches. They're a bit small for my hand, really. I like a larger plier, but um, they feel rather nice. They run really well, too. And as I say, we've got no damage to any of the cutters at all. So, again, somebody's probably bought those, um, <coughs> never used them. Actually, this. And this came from different stalls, so I very much doubt that they're out of the uh, same toolbox, you know, because of the condition and what have you. But um, aren't they beautiful? Wow. It's not not very often you find, you know, an old pair of pliers in this condition. So somebody's obviously looked after those, never used them for some reason or another. Okay, so what do we have here then? Well, we have a, um, a Billings and Spencer. You can just about make it out in there, look. Billings and Spencer, uh, and what we have here is a Model G. Now, according to 
alloy artifacts. This was made sometime between, I think it was 1915 and 1926. So you can see how old this fella is. And um, when I came across it at the car boot sale, it was on my favourite tool stall. It actually spoke to me as I picked it up. I thought, well, haven't I got enough, um, you know, auto wrenches, monkey wrenches? But this one's like, oh no, you definitely want me. I'm really old. So I'm like, what? Yes, I'm really old. You definitely want to pick me up. So I thought, oh, good grief, Penfold. All right, then. So I'll take it along. Pound. One pound for this. I bought three things off of him for three quid. So this was a pound. Uh, you can see by the, uh, the, the knurling here, finish of knurling. I don't think there's any damage to the knurling. I mean, I've had to clean it up because it was rather, rather filthy. So I've uh, taken it apart. It's been in the parts cleaning tank at work. I've already done, started to do a um, specific review about this little fellow here, so uh, in the, it's going to be getting a wire brushing and a bit of a polishing up, and hopefully it should look something like the one on them um, alloy artifacts, but something that's this age, around about 100 years old, I mean look how smooth this thing runs, look, and I've not even polished it up or anything yet, no, no oil on here, this is dry, this is bone dry, it runs an absolute treat, it's a beautiful old thing. Look at that, look at the fit. Perfect. It's in wonderful condition for something its age. Wow, love it. It is really nice when you can come across um, old tools like these, especially this something like this here, 100 years old or thereabouts, in such good condition. So, you know, somebody's bought them and probably never ever used them. Same with this. Uh, Abingdon King Dick here, although it just says King Dick on there. Uh, this thing is just British made, it's un completely unbranded, but um, it's not in the best condition. But what I do like about it, as I say, is because it's, it's government marked, so it was a government issue at some point, probably, I think, probably 1926. So um, that was a nice little find. So that's these two are both going into my uh, collection. So um, hopefully, guys, um, next week. I should be popping out to the car boot sale again and it'll be really cool if I can find something as equally as uh, nice as these fellows here. Uh, the other week I found these. They're not in too bad condition. Made in Taiwan. Stanley. They're really nice. I like those. Um, but yeah, you can find some interesting stuff. Look at these here. Look, these Arley. I've never seen anything like that before. They've got a really coarse adjustment just here. They're quite nice as well, I like those. But yeah, it's really nice when you can find something like this here. Something that's uh, really quite old, 100 years or so old. I don't know how old these are, but I don't think they're that old. Probably um, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, I don't really know. 1926, so you can tell how old these are. And, uh, you know, I can't help myself with pliers. And I certainly wasn't going to pass these little fellows up. Beautiful, look at that, they're definitely uh, definitely part of my collection now. I've got um, a 10 inch version of these down there as well, but that's not in uh, anywhere near as good a nick as uh, as they are. But yeah, it's, um, wow, very nice indeed. Okay then guys, uh, don't forget you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And you can share the video too if you like. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. This has been on Instagram. This has been on Instagram. Well, I think they've all been on Instagram now, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, of course, there's also stuff from uh, what we get up to at home as well. It's not just tools on Instagram. There's uh, some of the stuff that Mrs. Rathbone gets up to, some of her stuff she collects is on there. So, uh, yeah, go along to Instagram and take a look. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you'll pop back to Rathbone Manor in the very near future. So, um, catch you later guys. Thanks for watching. <coughs>